Let's get started here with WebKit. It's the fastest browser I found for PowerPC. It replaces the WebKit in your stock Safari. It always insists on loading this page though. Quick Google search here to give you an idea of how quickly the iBook responds. All right, let's go to a more complex site like GitHub. And one of the sites I visit rather often, Tech Report. Anantec also loads pretty quickly, but scrolling doesn't work well while it's rendering a page. Well, on this computer, you have to do things one at a time. See, now scrolling is smoother once the rendering is finished. The CPU graph in the dock is a good indicator. I guess it's still busy rendering those images. Quite usable, especially if you just press page up and page down. Let's go to a more complex site uh, that might not have been such a good idea Finally loaded the custom fonts. Look at that CPU. I have a hitch top running on desktop 4. We're using 920 megs of RAM at the moment. Let's play a hitch 264 video at 480p. Yeah, it has to skip frames so picture doesn't render perfectly it's better with 640 480 now let's see how fast LibreOffice is 
not expecting much. Let's open up a PDF. Spotlight is fast enough to be usable. Even on a hard drive. I don't know why it's wasting time searching the PDF for that string I typed into Spotlight. It's just a file name. Well, as you can see, it scrolls quite smoothly. Perfectly usable. Let's open another PDF. And let's say I got interest in the TI eighty four, so I start researching it. This is generally how fast I work when I'm really looking for information. Amazon's taking quite some time there. Maybe the Washington Post might have a more complex website. Still haven't finished rendering. Gotta wait for it, it's only got one CPU. In the end, this article didn't really say much. Here's a PDF with some large images. I should tax the CPU a bit. So you can see 1.25 gigs of RAM is plenty. <laughs> 